Go take a look at this raging river. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's flying through, it is. See how the muck coming through. <sighs> Thing is, can we catch a cart from it? <laughs> That's going to be the challenge. And it, you know what? It's on them, um, it's not flooded, but it's not far off. It's raging through at the moment. Probably see looking down there torrent it is <laughs> but i'm gonna you know what i'm gonna go out i'm gonna get my little green boat out i'm just gonna fish in the margins see if i can um, catch a carp this does test your fishing ability it is <laughs> and your boat and handling skills but i do love a challenge let's see if we can do it here we go time for another boat trip <laughs> always the most hazardous part of any any boat trip <laughs> getting it in and out of the marina out of these boat ramps Especially now, like start of November, everywhere is mega slippy, so you've got to be mega careful. You have, but yes, let's get it done, let's get on our way. Come on, that's it. Got the boat off the trailer, the river is raging through. <laughs> you can see, um, we're well into autumn now, <laughs> but yeah, it's raging through. But you know what, I am. Um, if you can find the right spots and fish in the margins, uh, these fish are going to be feeding because it's not, I won't say it's cold water coming through the river, so it's not going to like to stop them feeding. So, uh, yeah, let's, um, let's go and find them. Well, here we go, from the river, big adventure. <laughs> well, the river's been absolutely roaring through it has, and it's the colour of the mud. You can make it out, it's like, yeah, this brown mud chocolatey colour but it is the flow is dying down now <laughs> how's that love that beautiful let's track him down let's see if we can find him bamboo growing. We've got a couple of big snags. And that holds a couple of fish now. <laughs> Probably a big old catfish. We all know carp love a snag though as well. <laughs> well that's the back of the boat tied off. As you can see it's a bit wild here. <laughs> but I managed to um, get the rope through that tree use the boat hook and it's all right just got to tie that front up now to that tree there and all should be well this style of fishing is just mega took in, just tucking the boat in miles from anybody the river is absolutely racing through it's the color of mud but you know what i think i've got a chance <laughs> well rods are out that's two two rods out i'm only fishing with two because you can see how tight it is here just love it. <laughs> Come on, let's catch one. That's it, rods are out, we're fishing. <laughs> what a way to fish, eh? Just tucked up in the trees. Beautiful. Well, here we go. <laughs> rods are out. Let's cook some grub up. Bit of steak and some potatoes. Good old hearty um, British food. <laughs> oh, got to love a clean work surface. <laughs> yes. Come on, rods rattle off. Got the old mozzie net up, even though it's starting November. It's, um, I won't say it's cold, so mozzie up, mozzie net up, just in case. Well, you know what? Must be nice, that. Check this out. <laughs> what a river lump that is. It's like a, it's almost like a football. <laughs> Beautiful colours to it. Absolutely gorgeous. Some fish that. Yes, love it. <laughs> yes, well here we go. <laughs> what a night. You know what, about midnight I got, got a pick up and um, ended up being a catfish about 60, 70 pounds and um, I did half caused some um, trauma, did wiping out my rods because I'm fishing a tight spot and then uh, put the rod back out. Five o'clock this morning, off it roars and it's this beautiful mirror. What a fish this is as well. It's like a, 
What a fish for the river. So different. <laughs> it's like a football, it is. Woo! Love it. Yeah, just over 35 pound. Gorgeous. Just goes to show, even in the strongest flows, if you can find them, put a bait close in, you've always got a chance. Love this. <laughs> yeah, what a fish. Let's put him back. Go on, back you go. Back you go, you big mirror. <laughs> Woo, back he goes. <laughs> yes, yeah, so happy with that one. What a fish. Let's find them. Woo. I'll tie myself off to the trees now and to the brambles at the back. It's, um, the river is pushing through pretty hard. It's, it's coloured as well. You can make it out, but it's like a um, colour of mud, really, at the moment. So I'm just fishing close in. The first rod I put out gone out in a boat, dropped it, literally just had a quick look around and so I've dropped that 20 yards out and the other two I'm just going to swing out and um, hope I can then just intercept anything patrolling this margin. Got about eight, nine foot close in and um, yeah it goes out to 40 foot out in the middle. Yeah I reckon um, who knows Let's hope we have a chance. Now this is the rigs I'm using on this trip. It's me um, ever reliable combi link. Got a 45 pound boom section. Lead clip, hybrid lead clip, so the lead always comes off. 60, 70 pound mono snag leader, and I'm on 50 pound braid. And um, I've got 45 pound supple section on the combi link. Very strong, big size one hook. 24 mil bottom bait and a either 18 or 20 mil bottom bait, but you can see that that was out last night. It's been clawed a little bit, not too bad, much. I put new baits on now for going out. And whilst I'm tying a couple of rigs, I'm gonna have a couple of nice little cakes with a bit of black currant jam. <laughs> you know what? It's the simple things in life. <laughs> that and a cup of tea. Happy days. Let's get the rods out. And we're gonna catch here. It'd be nice if we do. Well, all the rods are out now, all close to the boat because the flow is really strong. Just the way I like to fish it is. <laughs> Just underarm, swung out. Baited up my baiting spoon, tigers, maize, few boilies. Here comes the local rowing teams. Go on, put your back into it. They're going against the flow of them, so with the strong flow they're doing all right. Well, it's the morning after, <laughs> and um, I did have a big catfish last night, about two o'clock in the morning. One of them went off the rods, I thought, yeah, here we go. But no, big old catfish, but the flow's picked up even more, and it is um, it is flying through. This section's very deep, we've got like 40 foot in the middle, so um, it's like a bus hitting your line. <laughs> it is powerful. And I'm gonna um, give it another half hour, Give it to about nine o'clock in the morning and then on time I'm going to try, try and get one in the daytime. Find a nice little spot I can tuck into and try and get one. And we're off. What a morning it is as well. Beautiful. <laughs> yes, come on, let's try and track these carp now. <laughs> Rivers, rivers pushing through really hard, but you know what? If I can find them, I reckon I'll catch them. 
beautiful morning. Well, as I was navigating this stretch of bank yesterday, I was heading towards a certain spot by the mine. I did come across a load of fizzing, a load of bubbling. And I did think, I was like, mm, is that the bottom or is that actual fish? Um, the initial response was, oh, it's got to be the bottom, but when I think about it now, I'm thinking it's fish <laughs> because it wouldn't happen anywhere else. So, yeah, I'm going to go back to that spot and give it a go today. See if we can get one. Hey! hey. Glorious day. <laughs> great to be, oh, it's just great to be alive today. Love it. Now oh, that's the spot. <laughs> just falling trees, snags everywhere. That looks a good spot that, but will you land them? Very much doubt it. Well, the spot where I seen him fizzing yesterday was dust the other side of that big snag tree there. It does make sense if I'm honest because it's out the floor, you've got the floor going that way, going around that big bend, so it's going to be almost a big slack area. So if you was a carp, that's where you'd be. Now, I've got to find myself somewhere to tie up and give me a good chance of actually landing him. I ain't going to fish here if I can't land him. Snags everywhere there is. Let's have a look. Well, this is a spot where they've seen the carp fizzing yesterday, and so got myself here now. I'm just going to fish for a few hours and see if they actually are carp or whether it's the bottom. I won't know until I've actually fished it, really. So, um, I mean, like, I'm on the inside of a big bend, so I can get away with just swinging out five ounce gripper leads. I'm a big um, combi link on, big, strong, heavy duty boom. That's 45 pound. Um, stiff section boom and I've got 45 pound supple section big size one that's a 24 mil bottom bait and um, it's 20 or 18 mil pop up and all I'm going to do I've got some um, stringers or just like little PVA bags of boilies I'm going to put on the hook cast out and maybe three or four um, baiting um, spoons worth of um, maize tiger nuts over the top a few boilies and that's it let's see if we can pick one up today <laughs> be awesome if we if I can, <laughs> let's get him out there. Right, let's get the first one out. Let's get the first one out. Swing it out there where I've seen that fish fizzing. Oh, that's perfect. Landed perfect, that. Oh, yeah, got a nice bit of depth of water there. At least 20 foot there, which is good. Which is good, good, good. Right, let's get a few scoopfuls of maize and tigers out. <sighs> Gotta chuck them a little bit upstream so when they drift down in that flow, hopefully they're gonna land over the bait. You can see, I don't know if you can make that out, but you can see like logs and branches coming past. And we're fishing, got two rods out, two rods, that's enough, two rods, exactly where I've seen the um, fish fizzing yesterday and this morning, <laughs> but was it fish or was it the bottom, we'll soon find out hopefully, let's hope it was fish, it's in like 20 foot of water or so, so I imagine it's fish being honest, I can't see him being a bottom at that depth, but who knows. If it was the bottom, you think it'd be an area where loads of leaves would come and settle and just decompose, but you don't get that impression here at all. Oh, come on, let's have a bite. That's it, got the rods out now, two rods are out. Fishing, and it's the first cup of tea. It's always great, the first brew in a new spot, but you know what, I reckon the old um, boat could do with a bit of a refurbishment <laughs> this winter. <laughs> 
Yeah, you gotta, you gotta love the um, the mold pattern. It's great. <laughs> well, that's why. Look at this leak. It's like every day you get like like an inch of water or something. It's got to keep baying it out. Yeah. So if anyone wants to buy a boat, real can. Real good condition, hardly used. <laughs> Just put your offers in, please. <laughs> yeah, to, to, oh, to be honest, though, I know it's um, it's, you know, well, it's not the greatest of conditions, but you know what? I absolutely love it. For me, it's perfect. Get myself kipped in there. I always have a good kip on here as well. I have a few bad dreams sometimes that boat's going to sink, <laughs> but that's about it. <laughs> wow, it's beautiful. You just wake up to views like this. Absolutely gorgeous. No bivvies in sight, no other people. Oh, marvellous. Long may it continue. Well, been here about six hours now, most of the day. And um, so I think it's pretty obvious <laughs> what I thought was uh, maybe carp, fizzing, probably just the bottom. Otherwise, I reckon I would have had one by now. So I'm going to um, give it another hour. See, it's still fizzing out there now, exactly where the bait is. It's got to be the bottom. I'm saying that, it's only just staffing again that, so you never know. Might rattle off any minute. <laughs> but if it doesn't, I'm gonna um I'm gonna go a different spot um for tonight and um see if we can bag one tonight. Yes. That's it. Ropes are on side, ready for the off. Let's see if we can start this bad boy up. Go on, start. Oh. Woo! And we're off. Right, well, off we go for the night. <laughs> Nothing in that day spot. So my plan is, I'm going to tuck myself into these trees for the night. And see if I can get one real close in. It's a great looking margin, it is that. Look at this, a bit of fizzing here. You can make that out on the GoPro. Going past it now. A bit of fizzing coming up there. Is it a carp or is it the bottom? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to tuck myself in just around here, I think, somewhere. Let's hope for one for tonight. <laughs> right, this is where I'm going to go. I'm going to tie myself up to that tree. Yeah. Without falling in. Don't want to be falling in when the flow's going fast. We don't want to be falling in at any, any time. <laughs> well, that looks to be a nice spot to moor myself up to. That tree there. This is going to be interesting, this spot, that's for sure. Never fished here before. Gone past it a few times on the boat. Right, let's tie the back up. Well, dinner, dinner. <laughs> what dinner tonight? Having spuds again, but I've got some carrots, peas, a bit of corned beef. <laughs> Looking forward to this. Come on, Rods, rattle off. <laughs> Here we go. What a beautiful fish. Just got the rods out. Just before dark. It's been dark about two hours, so I reckon it's about nine o'clock now, and um, off one went, and um, it's beautiful, low 20, river coming. Couldn't be happy with this, it's a beauty, <laughs> pristine fish. River's um, pushing through hard, and it's the colour of um, oxtail soup and mud it is, so um, yeah, just well happy to get one. You know, it's only young tonight, so every chance of another one as well. 
Let's put him back. Beautiful fish, that. Yes, I'm happy. Yes. <laughs> well, check this out. It was a busy old, um, busy old um, night last night. What, 10 o'clock last night at that little, little one? Um, low 20, and then um, about 5 o'clock this morning. Same rod, I went out, put it back out. Same rod, rattled off, and a um, beautiful fish. It's just over 40 pound, or about 41 pound. And um, it's an absolute river beast. It's a, a, such an angry fish as well. It didn't half beat me up, this thing. But it's a beauty, it's an absolute beauty. It's full of fights, it is. I'm hoping it's calmed down a bit. Oh, what a beast. What a good looking fish as well. Just check this out for the fish. Oh, look at that. What an absolute unit of a carp. <laughs> it's magnificent. Yo, what river fishing's all about for me, this. River's pushing through hard, it's a colour of mud. Just goes to show there's always, always a chance when you get your rods out. Oh, what a fish as well. That is, that is absolutely a stunner. Love it. <laughs> Let's put you back. Oh, yes. <laughs> so happy with that one. It's a beauty. this for a beautiful morning. What a night that was. <laughs> Absolutely stunning that. Well that's the end of this trip. And um <laughs> yeah that's the end of the trip. I had um well I had five fish in total. I had two catfish. Whoops. I had two catfish and um three carp and um yeah what carp were them I that small coming about 10 o'clock last night and um yeah five o'clock this morning off it went same rod yeah, it's that common, just over 40 pound. What a fish that was. I tell you what, what an angry fish. What a battle it was as well that time of the morning. It was like a bit of a wee bed and instead of just burying itself, it just ploughed right through the middle of it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, you can still see the, the river is the colour of mud it is. So yeah, just goes to show if you're in the right place, you're going to catch them no matter what conditions the river are in. Hey, <laughs> love it. Oh. Going back to base now. What a morning to going back to base. Woo! <laughs> that is nice.